I'm very fortunate right now. I'm enjoying this wave uh, of resurgence, as a lot of people have called it. But it's taken 40 years in this business to get to this point. You know, working it every day. You know, looking for the right songs, looking for the right opportunities, and, and working very, very hard at what I do. This tour is so much fun. I'm having the time of my life. But it's taken a lot to get here. Let's start this tour. This tour has probably been one of the most exciting tours I've ever done over here. Actually, anywhere, because uh, it was a recreation of the 70s almost. And nobody knew that there would be this much excitement and this much enthusiasm. I don't know how long it takes you, but if you want to write back over the hotel, you I just love doing that. Let me take it, Daddy. Wait. One more time. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, clear up there, too. Oh, look. Certain times in the concert, my lighting director would turn on the lights to the whole audience. And those are the times where I just sit back and I look at all those arms flying and all those people screaming, and they're all singing along with me. And those are the moments where you just have to just relish it and you take it all in and say, wow, this doesn't happen very often. And uh, I go back to the 70s and I think of those memories of of all those people singing with me and, and screaming. And it's the only thing I can relate it to, is back, clear back 30 years ago, because it very rarely happens. What's different about it this time is that when I do sing a song, and it's a ballad or something, they'll listen. Back in the 70s, they just scream. It was just an hour and a half of constant screaming. Whereas now they'll listen to the song. I end the show with this song called Never Gonna Say Goodbye. And I don't think I could have done a song like that back in the 70s. But what's really cool is that right in the middle of the song when I'm singing, they're really listening to what I'm saying. And at the very end, then it goes crazy. That's what's unique about this concert tour compared to the 70s. There you go. Thanks for coming, you guys. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night, you guys. Oh great. When I got yeah. lipstick. Yeah. We don't watch on Debbie. <laughs> don't play that for Debbie, please. When he comes out, opening. It's just on the cheek. Okay, just close it. Which cheek? <laughs> if I could turn back time. I'd probably want to relive my 20s differently. It's the worst decade of my life because that's when I lost everything, career-wise, financially, and everything. Thank goodness I had my personal life together. I had a and still do have a very strong marriage. I started my family. That's what kept me sane. I probably would have come over here earlier to England and recorded more over here. I finally, after meeting up with Peter Gabriel, came over here. He invited me to he said, come on over here. Let's work on your music. You know, let's let's put the television aside a little bit, work on your music. And that's probably what I would have done on the early eighties. Um
I don't know how else to answer that. I'm a little busy. The concert hasn't started yet. <laughs> So listen, so tell me, how you feeling? What? <laughs> Anti-aging stuff. <laughs> now this takes all the red away. Boy, I got one right there. What red? Red dots. You know, it's terrible when your five-year-old says, Daddy, what are you doing? I put them on my makeup. Like Mommy? <laughs> <laughs> and it's really horrible when we start comparing makeup notes. That's what's horrible. Or when I go to the makeup counter and he joins me. <laughs> Oh, no, you've got oh, that's the wrong this. shade, honey. When you're on the road, it gets a little lonely. So I flew my wife out. And she never really experienced the hysteria of the 70s. You know, you look at it in pictures and, and, and maybe some documentaries or whatever. That's one thing. But to experience it live is a whole other thing. And I said, honey, you've got to come out to the Manchester show. There's 14,000 people. And uh, you have to see this. She liked it. Wow. She liked it. Michael Jackson, eat your heart out. <laughs> <laughs> Michael who? Sorry, Dave. The hard critic likes it. That's you know what, though? That was about the loudest screaming I've heard. That was just really loud. Really? Sheer, in sheer decibels. I mean, it's been she was dumbfounded. She said, this is unbelievable. I wish all the kids were here. So I flew out my son, Don, my oldest. Because uh, the other ones are in school and they, they couldn't come out. And... Uh, he was at the London show last night, and he had his camera going and says, I've got to show my brothers this. They're not going to believe it. <laughs> They're screaming for my dad. <laughs> we are waiting to you Who needed to talk in the to hope me? that you Who's can send a us a couple of photos and autographs and also oh, your there. underwear. Yes, <laughs> what? <laughs> sings with me. I think that's my favorite part. Singing the oldies. Is a there was one time I forgot the words and I looked down and watched the people singing so I could remember the words. <laughs> Where are we heading to next? Okay, I'm gonna go meet uh, contest winners. After every show we have contest winners and uh, Donnie.com uh, winners. So there's probably, I don't know, maybe 20, 20, 30 people after every show to me. But I love it. It's fun. 